Hello and welcome back to Mondo Musings. I'm Nicardo McLean. Now with a maximum three competitors per country allowed to compete in each athletics event at the Olympics, there are quite a few events like the women's 100 meters where some Jamaican athletes who've achieved the entry standards will, unfortunately, not get the chance to compete in Tokyo. Then there are other events in which the pickings are decidedly slimmer for the black, green and gold. Mondo Musings Top 10 of the Weekend tracks the situation as Jamaica's search for Olympic qualifiers continues in these 10 events. At number 10, Men's Long Jump. Entry standard, 8.22 meters. Reigning world champion Tajay Gale, who's a virtual shoe-in for the games, and collegian Kerry McLeod are currently the two with the queue. With a nationals field that's likely to include as many as six other 8-meter performers, there's a very strong possibility that this duo will get some company. Just how much company remains to be seen. At number 9, Women's Triple Jump. Entry standard, 14.32 meters. 2019 World Champ Silver Medalist Shanika Ricketts has one foot in the Tokyo Olympics Triple Jump field. Ditto for two-time Olympic finalist Kimberly Williams, who's all set to make her third consecutive Games appearance this summer. The same can't yet be said for former Veer and St. Jago standout Sabina Allen. However, with a lifetime best of 14.20 meters done just last month, the 1432Q is very much in sight. At number 8, Men's 400 Meter Hurdles. Entry standard, 48.90 seconds. Jamaica No. 1 Kimar Moet bagged the standard all the way back in 2019, with his 4870 gold medal winning performance at that year's edition of the National Championships. Former Stets man Leonardo Legister, meanwhile, achieved the entry standard less than a month ago. With Olympic organizers targeting a 40-man starting field in the event, 2016 Olympic rep Jaheel Hyde could possibly sneak in with a small step up in the world rankings, even if he fails to achieve the queue. Theoretically, Sean Rowe could do the same. Of course, the surest way for either of these guys or any of the other aspirants to virtually guarantee themselves a ticket to Tokyo is to marry the entry standard with a top three finish in the final of the 400 meter hurdles at the upcoming Olympic trials. At number seven, women's shot put. Entry standard, 18.50 meters. Doha silver medalist Daniel Thomas Dodd is another virtual lock for the team to Tokyo. With 1850 proving such a tough nut to crack, it's very likely that ex Florida Gator Lloyd Risha Cameron could get in on points as well, even if the standard continues to prove elusive. The 25 year old's career best 1833 effort in early May means that she's close enough to almost touch the entry standard, though. At number 6, Women's Discus. Entry standard 63.50 meters. Shade Lawrence, who made her Olympic debut in 2016, is sitting in the catbird seat. Having flung the 1 kilogram implement a mammoth 67.05 meters in May. Excelsorian Shanice Love, meanwhile, is still in position to earn an invitation to the Olympics based on her world ranking, despite a slightly disappointing outing at the recent NCAA Championships. As for Samantha Hall, she'll almost certainly have to find another 3.5 meters to make the Games. At number 5, Women's 800 Meters. Entry standard, 1 minute 59.05 seconds. Seven-time national champion Natoya Gould is on the verge of making her second straight trip to the Olympics. Jasmine Frey, the second fastest Jamaican on the year at 201.58, still needs to shave off a further 2 plus seconds to enter Q territory. At number 4, Men's Triple Jump. Entry standard, 17.14 meters. Currently, Kerry McLeod is the only Jamaican man who's hit the entry standard during the qualifying period, courtesy of his booming 1717 personal best mark to win the SEC indoor title back in February. Reigning Jamaican champ Clive Pullen, the national indoor record holder at 1719, is a borderline points entry candidate, while 2018 Jamaican titleist Jordan Scott will likely have to go further than he's ever gone before to book passage to Tokyo. At number 3, Women's Long Jump. Entry standard, 6.82 meters. 
Two-time national champion Tisana Hickling hit the entry standard on the head with an inch-perfect 682 personal best leap in 2019, which has put her in prime position to qualify for her first Olympics. Meanwhile, Shanice Porter, also a national titleist twice over, is well enough placed in the world rankings that she might not even require the standard to travel to Tokyo. At number 2, Women's 5000 meters. Entry standard 15 minutes, 10 seconds. In one fell swoop, Aisha Proutlayer, who made her Olympic debut for Jamaica in the 3000 meter steeplechase in Rio, conquered both the national record and games entry standard in 2019. With no other Jamaican having run faster than 17 minutes and 30 seconds in the event this year, it's a pretty safe bet that she'll be the only 12 and a half lapper flying the flag in Tokyo. And at number 1, men's shot put. Entry standard 21.10 meters. Jamaica's top male shot putter Odain Richards hasn't thrown as far as the entry standard of 2110 since 2017, the year in which he set the standing Jamaican outdoor record of 21.96 meters. Nonetheless, the seven-time national champ is in prime position to progress to a second Olympic Games. Excalibur star Shinya Miller, who's heaved the iron ball as far as 20.93 meters, will likely need to better that to realize his Olympic dream. With the qualification window for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics set to close on June 29th, the upcoming national championships will likely represent a veritable last chance saloon for athletes who fall short of their respective standards at the all-comers meet scheduled for this weekend. Here's hoping that all of these athletes will be able to step their respective games up and give themselves a fair shot at realizing their Olympic dreams. And on that note, we've come to the end of another episode of Top 10 of the Weekend. Keep your eyes peeled for updated men's and women's 100 meters form charts, which will be released early next week. And please continue to subscribe, comment, like, and share. Thanks as always for watching. Until next time, Godspeed.